Is this on? Okay, seems like it's working. Alright, well, hello there, everybody. I am Miracle Gaming, and uh, it's been a long time since I've uploaded anything at all. I think it's been four months now, and I apologize for that. So I made this as an apology, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna go, and the other Let's Plays are currently on hold because I have the attention span of a goldfish or maybe a silver fish because I'm not I don't think I'm really gold material but anyway I decided to make this this let's play and um, if you don't know about this game you've probably been living under a rock but I will explain it is a real-time strategy game developed by Blizzard a long time ago and uh, you may notice that the graphics are quite different for example, this guy is much more detailed than back in the day. Same for this guy, and also I didn't do the Terran campaign, so yeah, I'll do that, but still. And this guy is also pretty cool. Uh, this is StarCraft, it's set in space, and uh, this is the remastered version, not just the normal old version that doesn't work. Well, <laughs> I'm saying that because last times I tried to put my old, old CD-ROMs on my computer. First of all, my computer was like, what the fuck's a CD-ROM? And uh, second of all, uh, it did it, it, it worked, but the color f screwed up a bit. Let's just keep it like that. But yeah, let's start. So, we are going to play as the Terran. This is a Terran campaign, Rebel Yell. This is the name of the chapter, I guess. This is new, this was not in the original game at all. Uh, by the way, I did not play this remastered version at all before just now, so... I'm going in not knowing exactly what changed, other than the graphics, so that's cool. So anyway, in the decades since the end of the Guild Wars, the oppressive Terran Confederacy has stood unchallenged in its supremacy over colonized space. All of that changed four days ago when a large alien fleet emerged from warp space and laid waste to the unsuspecting confederate colony of Cho Sara. The confederacy, fearing that the alien fleet's next target would be the colony of Mar Sara, has sent you to intervene. Acting as magistrate, you are to safeguard the colonists and keep their state of panic from escalating any further. And we are doing, going to do the boot camp. Actually, I won't uh, do the boot camp because this is a tutorial. Welcome to Marsara Magistrate. The equipment demonstration That's requested a bit, is prepared uh, uh, and will be low. at your convenience. Simply select start to begin um, the demonstration. I'm actually going to do it then. The yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this tutorial because tutorial. I want to mess with the options. Uh, there's a bunch of easter eggs if you let the adjutant talk but I don't wanna, and I won't need tips. Okay, I haven't played this in a long time. The T-280 SCV is the cornerstone of our hostile environment construction and resource gathering operations. I really wanna hear when they talk, so let's try this. Roger that. In order to build a thriving colony, numerous SCVs are necessary. You can build additional SCVs at a command center. Oh boy. Um, I'm having a problem here. Okay, it's because I'm at the corner of the map. Alright, that, that explains that, okay. Not enough minerals. So yeah, I have played this a long time ago. Ooh, new portraits. And uh, it seems like they updated the user interface too, kind of. But yeah, it's been a long, long time and... Um, oh, damn it. This, this. I need to learn the S, R, okay, and this I'm gonna get C. Need to learn the shortcuts, I don't know if I really will, but I may. Gotta get used to it again. Maybe this tutorial is exactly what I need. So, while this is boring, let's go kill some Zerg. territory and you want right. us to defend ourselves then use the attack command but if you want us to ignore enemy fire and go exactly to the 
spot you targeted and use the move command. So yeah, these are Zerglings. Uh, they are on enemies. Go, go, go. They're part of the enemies. Let's move. For now at least. Go, go, go. As you might have noticed in the in the main menu, Let's we go. have three campaigns. Go, go, go. Your forces are under attack. Not enough minerals. The Terran. The Zerg and the Protoss. It's kind of difficult to commentate on the, while doing this, not gonna lie. But yeah, of course we play as the Terran first, then we play as the Zerg, and we finally play as the Protoss at the very last. And there is also the expansion bundle with this, so that will be a lot of fun. In fact, I like the expansion much more than the base game. Not going to lie on that one. We really need to set the... Yeah, you can set um, shortcuts to groups by pressing control and the number. So I pressed there two, so one will switch to the command center and two will switch to these guys. And one died. Oh. It's kind of sad, but they already know what they're getting into when they, when they don't sign up for this. Because I don't think any of them are actually signed up. Uh, I believe I need to build some supply depots to win this mission, but I kind of want to... Get my economy rolling a little bit faster here. Commander, let's move. Rock and roll. Go, go, go. There we go. Let's eradicate all Zerg presence on the map. Let's move. So that there is literally nothing to do until we're done. I don't know what. There is a comment I think to switch between the old style and the new style, but I want to use the old style. See, SCV is S. Alright. I will probably not gonna remember that. I will probably like have to click all of the things I build and stuff. Which is definitely newbie, I guess, but whatever. I don't really care. I might do some micro managing. That's the most you can get out of me, probably. Okay, you're the one who doesn't know what to do. Let's see, that's a hundred. Uh, you can gather. Yeah, I guess this is a, a decent amount of SCVs to do the, the boot camp with. Yeah, let's build the refinery. Not enough minerals. So we can check objectives with this. Refinery, two supply depots. This is kind of far, actually. That's gonna be much faster. I should have done that very early on. You can lift buildings as Terran. For duty. And uh, when you do, then you can uh, land them somewhere else. Which is pretty great. Like, that's actually kind of cool. It's their strength. Uh, I'm gonna keep making more CVs, I guess. The process is raw Vespian gas, converting it into a form which your SCVs can gather. So yeah, there's not a whole lot to say about the game right now because nothing's going on. SCV good to go, sir. But eventually there will. And like I said, I do prefer the expansion over the base game by far. Because the base game doesn't have every unit, and uh, the expansion brings about some much, much needed additions sometimes. Like some base units, you might think that, oh yeah, that's that's base, that's pretty, uh, that's normal, but no, no, you, you don't have those yet. And uh, something that's interesting, if you've played StarCraft 2 but did not play this game yet, you will recognize some, some units, and you also won't know others. Also, I, I, I did activate the timer here to see how long I'm taking to do these things. This concludes the equipment demonstration. There will now be a fully catered reception at Marasara Base. Alright, so yeah, that's the game. Well, we won the game. We, we are done now. We did win everything and uh, yeah, look at that. Aren't boys? Oh yeah, 555. And uh, we have unidentified creatures. Oh, we all know these are the Zerg. Come on. Wasteland. Adjutant online. Good evening, Magistrate. I'll fill you in on what's been happening. Confederate traffic has increased substantially within the system due to the recent Protoss destruction of the Chao Sara colony. The 
Confederates have tightened security on all outlying systems, and it's likely that this colony will be locked down as well. An encrypted Confederate transmission came for you while you were at dinner. Replaying transmission. Greetings, Magistrate. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Confederate Security Forces Alpha Squadron. The Confederacy has quarantined this entire planet, and we'll proceed with a lockdown within 48 hours. You're to relocate your core colonists to the outlying wastelands. Now, I know there won't be any problems with these new arrangements. Transmission ended. I have contacted the local marshal, James Rayner. Rayner has agreed to meet your personnel en route and escort them to the new wasteland site. All right, so uh, I was gonna say that I'm gonna shut up during the briefings, but they started talking, so. Yeah, um, so yeah, this is Mission Wasteland. We have to find Rainer, build a barracks, and train 10 Marines. That's pretty standard. Pretty, pretty easy. That's like basically the easiest mission goal you're ever gonna get. But we have no base. So I guess we're gonna move our guys. Go, go, go. Let's move. Rock and roll. I can't believe we're being sent to the wasteland. These Confederates think they can push anybody around. Oh, right. I wanted to actually also. Add this even higher because uh, the, the speech is not go, go, go. high. I don't know. I don't know if the speech yes, is like. Uh, right away, sir. Okay, let's group them up. Alright, oh, hey, there's the generator. Howdy, boys. I'm Jim Rainer, Marshal. Yeah, the speech is still not loud at all. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna lower the music then, a little bit. I wish there was also a volume for the speech, because it's not loud. Even if I put it here. I don't know. Okay, Go so, ahead, you can be that Commander. one. Yes, sir. Jacked up and good Any handle. time you're ready. Reporting for duty. Greener is very durable. He's not gonna like die here, especially because we don't have anything to really lose. And here we have our base. Uh, let's move this a bit closer. I am no speedrunner. Uh, like this could be done faster, but whatever. So yeah, the mission is pretty simple. Make a bunch of marines. Marines are these dudes. Outstanding. They are Let's move. a very jolly fellow. Can I zoom in? Oh, I can. SCB, good to go, sir. That's kind of cool. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Let's see about looking at those SCBs. Yeah. I kind of like their look. They're interesting. Okay, now that we have uh, enough minerals, we can make ourselves a barracks. Yeah, let's make it big here. I don't believe in, like, keeping my base all clumped up. I can't. Dude, are, are you gonna go? Yes? No? Okay, good. <laughs> Alright. Don't get stuck like that. That's kind of shit. Anytime you're ready. Let's look at Jim Raynard, too. He's a... Teal guy in a bike. Right on. I really like these bikes too. That's basically the Gen Rainer's favorite vehicle. Uh, I guess I could make more SCVs too, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna wait until this is over. These are supply depots. Um, they give ten. No, no, they give eight supplies per depot. You need a lot of them. They are very impractical because they get in the way. So generally people like build a clamp of them somewhere and then just leave them there. Come on now. You don't have a lot of uh, resources here, but you don't really need a lot either.
So my BD was in the past. Yes, I know. But yes, uh, in the past, my videos have been pretty long. I'm gonna keep it to about one or two missions per video, depending on the mission. Uh, I don't want to really go over 30 minutes per video, I would say. If a mission somehow lasts longer than that, you want a piece of me, boy. I will cut it down, maybe. But otherwise, that's that. I guess we can just this go ahead and like see what's this up out here, but... You don't really need to do that oh, for the yeah. mission objective. Jermaine can go first. This should be good. Oh yeah, the padding in this game is absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah. Nope, oh, there are some Zerglings over there. Jermaine is actually pretty, pretty damn strong in his bike. Go ahead, Commander. And uh, he has this a lot of Jimmy. HP. That's 300. Marines have 40. Yeah. Ah, there's a space for an expansion, Sounds but we don't really need the base expansion right now. It's funny how the first mission right actually on. teaches you about fist being gas, and you don't have any of that here this be at all. Jacked up and good to go. Give me something to shoot. Anytime all right, you're ready. Let's keep going. This I guess I can good. kill maybe one more Zerg before the mission is over. It's really Sounds not needed. Fun. Right on. As soon as that marine is gonna oh, be done, yeah. it's gonna be over. Hey, there's a door here. It's pretty cool. Oh, there we are. Sounds fun. You want a piece of me, boy? Yep. Should be good. That's it. So this is the victory, and this is a victory screen. We already saw it before, but now we see it for the first time for our uh, first uh, real mission. We can see our units and uh, structures and resources and our score. I don't really care much about that. And uh, the APM, I really don't care at all. That's uh, action per actions per minute, I think. Like, I, I, I'm not here to prove that I'm really good at this game. So I'm going to do another mission for this one because the next one is... Um, yeah, you'll see. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. What's up, man? Got your refugees tucked in nice and tight. Provide you can sidestep any more surprises from our Confederate friends and we can keep them away from those critters. They should have an easy time. Priority alert. Backwater station under attack by unknown alien organisms. Distress beacon activated at 0658. Alerting Confederate headquarters on Tarsonis. Stand by for incoming transmission. We've already received the distress beacon from Backwater, and we'll take care of it. You just sit tight. You'll be notified if there's anything we think you need to know. Damn! Listen, if we wait for Confederate reinforcements, that station's dust. I'll head out there now and do what I can. You send in some militia, and we'll save those folks. Trust me. All right, well, Rainer said it. We have to eradicate the alien infestation and Raynor must survive. This is gonna be basically every single mission from now on. Raynor has to survive if he's in the mission because he is a hero unit. Glad to see you boys. Time to kick some serious And also he is uh, pretty popular in the fact that uh, he's uh, well known for his uh, continued existence. In StarCraft 2, he is basically the face Report of the Terran. Ready. You're ready. So with our starting forces that, that are very good. meager, we can probably make some headway. I want to actually I'm like explore back. the entire maps and stuff like that because that's nice and all, but me, I really want to get on with go, the plot because I want to play the expansion. We can set a rally point, like uh, about here maybe, to make things go faster. You're ready. I won't be building much of a base here, and uh, you'll understand why very soon. Okay, so first of all, let's kill these guys. Jim Rayner is in a an armored vehicle. That means since you're Terran, you can actually repair that. Looks like the ground there is alive. This should be good. If he gets too damaged, you can repair him, which is great. And 
the, the same can be said for all Terran uh, buildings too. This is the Zerg yeah, creep colony. Oh, yeah. We will see more later. Thanks for the rescue. We've been holed up in these bunkers for days hiding from the Zerg. These things have been out here a while, but they could be pretty useful. This should be good. All right. for duty. Right away, sir. So what this guy said that couldn't really understand is need a light. He is a fire bat. Fire bats are melee units, and uh, they go in the on the front lines. And uh, what you see there on the ground is creep. Zerg have creep. They have to build on creep, and um, that's about it really. Now we can build a lot of uh, units on this mission, but it's actually a pretty easy and quick mission. So let's just go ahead and start killing some Zerg. Sounds fun. Might do some units, I'm not really concerned about it. Why is Reno over here? Right on. I don't exactly know what he's doing, but he's not where the action is. Right on. This should be good. Yeah, the units are getting like all pumped up together now. Alright, didn't lose units yet, but it's gonna... It won't take long. Let's get up here. Kill that. Uh, oh, uh, that's a... Hydralis. Hydralis are basically the bread and butter of uh, Zerg. Some might say they're the Zergling, but I disagree. Hydralists are basically... Marines, but uh, for the Zerg. They are also fairly uh, powerful. Actually, you know what? You, you deal with the Hydralisk, so we don't actually get those guys on us. We just want to make a headway here. And we can kill that for fun too. This should be good. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what the hell did they do to that command center? Whatever it is, it ain't natural. Burning, boys. That's an infested command center. That's not really cool, as you can see. That's uh, really, yeah. I can produce uh, infested Terran, you which are not fun. Attention. They are kamikaze units Naturally. that will basically kill anything and everything very, very easily, very quickly. They're a little expensive, though. And of course, they're reserve units. If your command center looks like this, go check the doctor. That's not healthy. Fire Don't uh, get those earth there just to go and kill this. There we go. Yeah, simple, easy mission. Pretty fast. There you go. We dealt with the infestation. Receiving incoming transmission. Marshal Rayner. By destroying the vital Confederate installation, you and your men have violated standing colonial law. As of right now, you're all under arrest. I suggest you throw down your weapons and come peaceably. Are you out of your mind? If we hadn't burned that damn factory, this entire colony could have been overrun. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet time and getting here. Now, I asked you nice the first time, boy. I didn't come here to talk with you. Now throw down them weapons. Guess you wouldn't be a confederate if you weren't a complete pain in the ass. So that man is Edmund Duke. He is a confederate and we hate him. He is a hard ass. So anyway, these are the. this is the score, so I will see you next time for the next episode of uh, Let's Play StarCraft Remastered. I am Miracle Tiger, and have a good day, because the next episode is going to be pretty crap. I don't like the next mission, and you will see why. Yeah, we're starting up the Let's Play really well here, aren't we? Anyway, see you later.